Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel and this is Mom Shilores at your service. So obviously, as you can see, this video is another tutorial. So I know that you are guessing now. Chara. So for today's video, I'm gonna teach you on how to make spaghetti that tastes like a carbonara. Yes, naman! Wow. And yeah, that's not impossible. So before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the bell button for you to notify if I have a new video uploaded, and please like and share this video. The first ingredients that we need is the garlic and onion. Next is the ground beef or ground pork, but this time I'm gonna use the ground beef. You can also add hot dogs because kids love hot dogs. And to achieve the carbonara taste, we need Nestle cream or Alaska cream is okay. We also need condensed milk, cream of mushroom, sliced mushroom, evaporated milk. One of the main ingredients is the spaghetti sauce. I prefer to use creamy and cheesy. Of course, the Del Monte pasta. I'm sorry, I forgot to post it. Of course, the spaghetti is not complete without the cheese. The first thing to do is we need to slice the garlic and the onions into small pieces so that the kids will not notice it. We all know that some kids don't like the taste of garlic and onions. Like me, yeah, I know. So this is what I always do. Next is we need to slice the hot dogs into cubes, small cubes or dice. We know that kids love hot dogs, right? But this is optional because we know this is not really good to our health, especially to our kids. So this is only optional. So we have to cook first the hot dog separately before the sauce and I love hot dogs that is toasted <laughs> but mostly of you guys cook the hot dog together with the sauce right but I love a little bit crispiness of the hot dog when you add it to the sauce I don't know so if you're done we can now proceed to the sauce so we need to saute the garlic and the onions. I usually use butter or margarine but for this time I'm gonna use cooking oil because I am not in my house right now. So next is you're gonna add the ground beef or ground pork but beef is better than pork. I don't know, it's tastier, it's yummier. And that's it, it's it. So you can add now the pepper to taste and of course salt, don't forget the salt. I usually add the salt and pepper together with the meat just to make it tastier. It's now time to add the mushrooms because I love mushrooms so much. You can buy this at any grocery stores. So 
So it's now time to add the sauce. The first one I am using right now is the Filipino style, but I usually use um, cheesy and creamy, I don't know, cream or cheese sauce, this one, the second one, because I love creamy spaghetti, I love the cheesy spaghetti. When you see it boiling, it's now ready to add the cream of mushroom. You need to mix it well before adding the milk. There you go. So let's add the one can of evaporated milk. I'm using Alaska and I think this one is 370 ml. To add a little bit sweetness, I'm using Alaska condensed milk, the 168 ml, the small can, just to make it sweet because the kids love sweet spaghetti. And now my secret reveal, <laughs> I am using a Nestle cream, actually I used two boxes of Nestle cream but for now let's try only one box because why not? This is actually my secret, that's why my spaghetti tastes like carbonara. Anyway, I already added the hot dogs. I'm sorry that I forgot to tell you earlier. And so it is boiling again, so it's time to add the cheese. I am actually using multi cheese because I don't have enough time to grate the cheese. So if you are lazy like me, this is perfect for yeah. Just a reminder, make sure that the heat is not maximized so that all the cheese will melt down without overcooking the sauce. So I think we are done for the sauce. So let's go for the pasta. Let's boil the 2 liters of water, add salt and oil. It's now ready and let's put the pasta inside. And let's prepare the timer for 10 minutes. And we're ready. 10 minutes starts now. So let's check after almost 6 minutes. Another tip, Mumshi's actually, the cooking process here is only 9 minutes. So I am now setting it off. And let's just set it aside for one minute. I think we're almost done. Almost one minute. So this is another tip to achieve the perfect um, consistency of our pasta. Nine minutes cooking time and one minute rest. Time to rinse the pasta. So it won't be overcooked since the water is still hot. Let's drain the pasta after this and ta-da! Thank you very much Mamshis for watching my tutorial of my spaghetti red sauce that tastes like a carbonara and I hope you guys learn a lot for all the mumshies who are business minded this is perfect for us and this is also perfect for merienda snacks for your kids so before I forget I will be posting my exact measurement and ingredients at the description box below please check it out and of course don't forget to subscribe my channel Click the notification bell for you to notify if I have a new video uploaded. Give a thumbs up and, and post some comments or request for a shout out. So yeah, it's a shout out time. So shout out to Rick Condinato. Thank you for watching my previous video. I hope you enjoyed it. And for more shout out, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.